what is going on guys welcome back to the channel since the markets closed let's take just a moment to look at crypto a um, few altcoins that I have my eyes on and I'll show you a little bit on the BTC chart and just show you what I'm looking at there let's see if this gives us some positive reinforcement or what's going to happen from here a lot of crypto has been running I tell you what I am uh, I'm a firm believer that a lot of institution big money has now entered into the crypto market and it does react a little bit more like um, like the stock market unfortunately uh, it's become a little bit more predictable now by predictable I'm not saying it's going to move exactly like that I do believe that there's more volatility still in crypto um, uh, you know two to four times maybe uh, uh, movements that are generated but it's still one of those things that are becoming very highly trackable and if you compare Bitcoin and SPY you'll see very similar movements I challenge you to prove me wrong I've back tested this for years and the movements are just way too similar to ignore and whenever it comes into the weekend you'll see good movement up until about Saturday at some point usually Saturday morning depending on your time zone whatever you're in and then from there you just get range bound you get range bound with what the market did and you wait until futures market opens and then you see the actual move so whenever the futures market actually opens up you're going to see the movement whether it goes you know up or down at that point um, over the weekend you're just kind of flipping in a range for pennies if you're playing it uh, you're not really doing much you know I, it, it never rips and runs it never falls and crashes it just waits for the future market so unfortunately that's the way that crypto has become but at least it is still volatile it is still very new and it is still relatively beaten down as far as everything else goes so whenever i was looking over a few of the plays that i i kind of like um I, I really like xlm just because it gets a lot of sympathy moves off of xrp now a lot of people don't have access to xrp or they don't want to go through the headache of creating another brokerage or um, you know transferring funds all of that fun stuff to be able to get their hands on xrp xlm seems to be a very nice sympathy play that you can use off of you know uh, xrp so if you, it's very easy to get your hands on xlm and it does move whenever xrp moves which is nice so we can kind of look at that and just kind of see what's going on there i mean overall xlm in my eyes has not made the move that a lot of these cryptos have made over the past i don't know few days or whatever we want to call it uh, it's it's lagging just a little bit in my opinion um, but that doesn't mean that it doesn't have a chance to be able to to make up and, and take care of what it needs to do I, I'm kind of watching it to see what actually happens I think there's going to be a little bit of a pullback that probably happens in XRP just because of the trend line that it's been following um, so I'm watching this trend line I'm watching the fibs yes you can pretty much fib these things out as far as it goes now which is pretty impressive I mean it's hard to deny that these candles are not lining up perfectly with fib lines so you know you might say you can't ta crypto i would challenge that i do believe you can so i'm watching about eight and a half cents see if it holds on this trend line we'll see like i said how futures market opens i don't know if any cryptos need to be chased right now it could come back down for uh, you know one more shakeout to a degree to see um, what kind of interest there i think there's going to be some profit taking right things have made very nice moves but I think XLM is just kind of lagging just a little bit. But like I was saying, Saturday, right? Here you are. You made your you made your move. You topped out. You topped out. You just came back up for a top out again. So you get very range bound whenever the market's closed, which is probably what this is going to do now. All right? Come back down. See how futures opens, and then if futures opens good, we're going to bounce off the trend line and we're going to push our way to make a higher high. If futures market opens down, then we're probably looking for a retest down here somewhere. So uh, that's why I'm saying I don't believe we have to be chasing. I am in most of these already and have been for a long time. So it's just one of those things that 
whatever I'm talking about, I'm probably in. It doesn't mean that you should be in. Um, crypto's just a long-term hold in my eyes. Gala, Gala finally made a pretty nice statement. It was in a long, long, long downtrend, but you know, fibbing out the run, that's a pretty solid run. Can't say it wasn't a perfect rejection. Right now we're trapped below that uh, 047. We're just kind of range bound right in there. It's just riding it, right? Riding the fib to see how futures market opens. So I think we're gonna hang tight right here, but whenever, whenever that does happen, I'd be looking somewhere for an entry, call it 40 and a half to 35 and a half, potentially even all the way back down to a quarter if it doesn't want to run. If the markets want to continue to run, then we're looking at this 40 and a half to 47 line as far as what could be a potential good entry and then watch it rip from there. If it wants to hit that 56 cents, that would probably be my next target that I would be looking for up to... Um, eight cents sorry I said 56 but oh 0.056 up to 0.081 up to 12 cents so it could make a very nice run I mean it, it has tons of potential it just matters how are the markets going to respond are we going to actually get there we're going to find out you know at some point everybody's going to be chasing crypto um, it's just one of those things that it's probably going to make its rip it's going to make its run and it's going to leave a lot of people behind and the FOMO will just increase which is why I say it's it, it does follow the markets but there is volatility there because we get a lot of FOMO and chasing and everything that's going to continue to hopefully drive things to the upside whenever that recovery actually does come in um, Phantom is also another one that I've been watching. Uh, not not necessarily watching. I do have it. I've had it for a long time. I have uh, actually DCA'd this one down. For some reason, I did not let it go and just watch and see what the markets did. Um, it has fallen significantly from its all-time highs like everything else. Uh, it it has a long way to go before we even start to make a dent in what has been going on there but um it it will right it will make that return at some point i think i i don't know why it wouldn't as long as it's survived this long i think it can survive a little bit longer um let's see how it does as of right now again nice return so far sitting perfect on a fib line that we have let's see where it goes from here i want to kind of watch it i believe in between this channel here of 28 cents and 31 and a half cents see if it's going to make a little bit of a retracement down um, if not then we're looking really nice to the upside right 41 cents would be my next target if we can open up futures pretty hot and drive to the upside then uh, this would be your area to watch where it's sitting right now 3158 uh, if if it can't hold 28 then be watching down to 2575 and then ultimately down to about 24 cents somewhere in there um, like I said, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't be panicking just yet. I, I do think the overall economy, I think the overall markets, I think we have a little bit more trouble ahead of us before we actually make that final ascent, that actual final climb whenever everything is going to turn around. We're going to know last, I'm sure. Big money's going to jump in here and start pumping things. And like I said, that's whenever everybody will be. Um, a chaser no matter whether you're in the markets or you're in crypto uh, we're going to be chasing at some point because none of us are going to time the bottom perfectly we don't know where that is has it already came it could have right i mean the bottom could have already set and we could be working our way back up but we do not have confirmation that things are moving to the upside just yet we still have some breakouts we got some retests we got a whole heck of a lot going on in the economy still to see if this is the moment that everything's going to turn around. So, uh, like I said, if you have it and you're DCA and I, I wouldn't full on panic just yet. And you know what? Worst case scenario, you miss out on a few bucks. Best case scenario, you save a few bucks as you wait for that just to see what it's going to do. Um, 
And I'm not a financial advisor. It's your money. You do what you want. But I, I think there might be another opportunity for just a little bit better entry than where we're sitting right now. And I might be wrong. This might be the beautiful entry because who knows, future market might open up pumping, right? And then this is our pullback at some point where it's sitting right now. Um, it's just one of those things we don't know. Nobody knows exactly what's going to happen, how it's going to happen, what's going to go on. But I do like the fact that Bitcoin is making its crack because we've seen it a few times right back here in the December 17th to uh, the 19th. We saw it on in 2019 to 2020. We saw it here in, call it 2021, 20, all the way down to our current day almost around the end of the year. It, it made a little breakout, came back down, and now it looks like it's pushed out and trying to at least do a little bit of a pump here in January 2023 for us. So uh, again, it, it nothing's um, nothing's 100% confirmed that this is going to be the move, that this is going to be the time that everything gets good. But if we look at it on the weekly, you can see that it has broke out. It has retested. It did a little bit of a consolidation. Looks like a nice cup as far as the weekly goes, right? If we're looking in on it close, you got a nice cup here, which um, could it just continue to pump? Yes. Um, do Does a cup always have to have a handle? No, it doesn't. Um, but if it does play out like the patterns typically play out that would be another reason that i think it might not need to be chased just yet you're going to be watching to see how that handle forms out if there is a little bit more uh, pullback cool off to the downside everything's running kind of hot right now so i would just hang tight um see how some of those retracements come into play see where you want to make your comfortable entry don't feel like you have to chase it especially over the weekend saturday afternoon to usually sunday evening and then the markets the pre, the uh, the markets open up but today's a holiday so we got one extra day in there where we're just kind of in limbo so this evening we'll see how the future is open we'll start to see that movement in crypto and we'll just go from there but those are the ones that I kind of think are have potential but might be lacking just a little bit. So Gala, G-A-L-A, XLM, and FTM. I'm sure there's plenty of other great cryptos out there. I probably have them in my portfolio. Like I said, I, I don't play I don't play the junk. That that's that doesn't matter to me. I like the bigger ones. Um, you know, just because of my my trading style as far as crypto goes i'm just kind of holding crypto and seeing what happens over the years um but i know you can make a lot of money on some of those other coins they're just not my focus and i i don't get into those so all right guys have a good one i will see you tomorrow as always stay golden people and may your accounts stay green